Alright people, what is going on? It's Thunder. Welcome back to Call of Duty Black Ops. Oh my goodness, it's been a while since I've uploaded some blops. I've been uploading some MW2, some Minecraft, some World at War, but I'm back here on Black Ops. And I want today's commentary, guys, I just want to talk about the UAV. The UAV, get on, son. And the UAV has pretty much stayed the same in Call of Duty. Well, I know in Modern Warfare 2, they switched it up a little bit. They added an advanced UAV. But, you know, this group of people I'm playing against, I've noticed they like spamming UAV spy planes. So, you know what, man? Instead of sitting there looking up at the sky like a jackass for, like, 15 seconds trying to find a spy plane, by the time I find it, <laughs> the UAV is pretty much over anyway, and it just wastes my time. Plus, I really don't like carrying Stinger missiles, dude. I like having a pistol secondary. A pistol is sexy. You guys know that. You guys have seen in my gameplays. I like to pistol swap a lot. And watch me flash. This is pro. Pro entry tactics right here. Look at this. Spamming spy planes already? I don't think so, son. Watch me. I'll play this guy. Oh, get beasted, baby. See? The UAV was up. That guy wasn't even shooting at me. He was shooting at somebody else. I completely outplayed him. And speaking of getting outplayed, watch this shit. Oh, get on thunder. I walked right in front of that guy as he was getting shot at. Well, walked right behind that guy as he was getting shot at. Bad move, bad luck, whatever. So, people, the UAV has pretty much stayed the same all throughout Call of Duty. And, oh, that was sexy. Nice little two-piece with the commando. And I flashbang this room again. Nobody in here this time. Flashbanging rooms before you go into them, guys. Just a great tactic. And I love flashbangs. I wish the quick draw pro ability was in this game so I could throw my flashbangs faster. I, I thought that was a great perk. Unfortunately, you can only use it once in Modern Warfare 3. You, you, you know, quick draw pro is only good for one or two throws, then, then it's over. So, really not well thought out, but uh, that perk is sick, throwing shit quick. And, uh, dude, listen, I don't honestly, I'll be honest with you guys, I have never gotten Scout Pro in Black Ops. I've never gotten Scout Pro. I know that Scout Pro lets you do stuff faster. Uh, does it let you throw tactical grenades faster, too? I have no idea. I know it lets you fast weapon swap and fast plant stuff, but I've, I've never used Scout. I don't snipe, dude. I just, it's not for me. Sniping's not for me. I don't snipe, so I've never used Scout Pro. And speaking of, uh, speaking of good perks here, check this out. A little bit of Hacker Pro. Oh, baby, I love Hacker Pro. That's, that's the way I like to hack in my Call of Duty games. Not, you know, not those little bitches that play World at War. This is the way I like to hack. A little bit of Hacker Pro. Alright guys, so the UAV, man, I think it kind of needs to be rebalanced a little bit. I mean, there's a three kill streak in this game called the RC car. There's another three kill streak in this game called the UAV. But here's the thing, dude. I don't think the whole team should get a UAV. And there's my Blackbird. This is the big boy UAV, the SR-71. And I always thought that the UAV should be personalized in this game. I mean, you get a three kill streak RC XD car. Now, when you get your three kill streak, does the whole team get an RC car? No, just the person... That gets the RC car, gets it. You know, not the whole team having RC cars. Imagine if one guy had the RC car equipped and he got his three kills and then everybody got an RC car, it would be retarded. Uh, I think the UAV is more powerful than the RC car is. I mean, you get a UAV up, you could get three to five kills easy. Just hunting people down, and sh you know, the red dots as long as it's not using ghosts like I am. I mean, this guy get into a little battle right here. Um, I think, you know, the UAV, you get it, you get it at three kills or two kills of hardline, you get the UAV personal, just like the RC car was. And don't say it doesn't work, because I play home front and there's a personal UAV system in that game and it works fine. It really does. Um, you know, the whole team getting to see where everybody is after one dude gets two or three kills, I think it's a little much. I think it's bullshit. And, you know, Call of Duty has undergone a lot of changes over the years. They've changed a lot of things. They've revamped a lot of things. I think the UAV system needs to be revamped. I think UAV in this game should have just been the Blackbird. I mean, can you imagine if they made um, a three kill streak something else? Like, you know, you get a three kill streak and you get something other than uh, a UAV. You get just something else. Maybe an uh, ammo drop or a ballistic vest or maybe even an ammo drop that drops another primary. So now you could have two primary weapons. You know, something cool, dude. Personal UAV. And look how fast my shit gets shot down right here. My, you know what? They had the same turret up. Whatever. I didn't see it. I, I should have looked. And I'm going to speed this part up right here, guys, because I go running around. I don't find anybody. Super fast mode is on. There we go. And I think right here. Yeah, we stop it. I finally see somebody. And, uh, oh, wait. There's somebody camping in this tunnel. Look at this. There's some dude laying back there. Come on, son. Are you serious? <laughs> Look at this guy. Get on, baby. Ghost Galil. Of course. What else would he be using? <laughs> so, oh, there's a guy laying in the back of this tunnel. And I'm sitting here, like, just trying to figure out how I want to approach him if he's going to come out. Now he's throwing shit, he's throwing grenades, he's throwing smoke grenades, he's... He knows I know he's back there, but he refuses to come out and fight me like a man. I wish I still had some tactical nades, because I'd flashbang the fuck out of him, and it looks like my teammate's gonna rush in there and take him out, and there you go. 
And you know what, man? I should have done that, but I just did not want to risk getting killed by that fucking camper. I don't mind dying in this game, dude, but I hate getting killed by campers laying prone. And oh, get owned, son. That dude tried to bunny hop the Claymore. Definitely wasn't working. But, you know, he took the Claymore out so I could get a kill. And oh, get drop shot, son. Pick up another nice little kill. And I think I see a dude hanging right over here. Oh, some of my teammate just got dogs out of a care package. This guy gets owned. Oh, my goodness. Dogs out of the care package. I love it. Especially when I'm taking other people's dogs out of the care package. Did you, did you guys see that video? I'll link that shit in the top for you. <laughs> Check that out. So I pick up another kill. and So guys, basically, I think the UAV system would work great in this game if it went like this. So three kills, you get a personal UAV. And oh, get on Thunder. Man, that dude shit on me. Nicely played. Nicely played. And guys, I'm knife in the air because I'm mad at myself. I'm not mad at the guy that shot me. But at three kills, we should get a personal UAV. At five kills, you get a team UAV, and each time a teammate gets a kill from that, you get assist points, making it worth you actually calling it in, because it'll help you rank up faster, being a good team player. And then at eight kills, you get your Blackbird, and dude, I think that would have been a great UAV system for this game. You see, guys, I got some good ideas. Your boy Thunder does have some good ideas. I don't just complain, I offer good uh, ways to improve the game also. So, all right, guys, that's the end of the gameplay. Uh, if you like it, please don't forget to rate it and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the ideas I threw at you. It's your boy Thunder. I'm out of here. Peace! Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Thunder. Thank you so much for checking out today's video. And in case you missed it, these are my last two videos. Up on the top left hand side of the screen, we've got a sexy 38 and 3 team deathmatch in Black Ops Hanoi. And over on the right, thanks to a couple of boosting bitches and a well placed predator missile, I'm bringing you another nuke fail on Wasteland. And in the middle, we've got the mystery video. Can't tell you what that is just yet. You're gonna have to click onto it and see for yourself. As always, everyone, thank you so much for continuing to support me and this channel. It's your boy Thunder. I'm out. Peace.